In this lecture, we will cover test design activities. Test design is the fourth activity in the test process. And in the previous lecture, we saw during test design, the test conditions are elaborated into high level test cases, sets of high level test cases, and other testware. Now we will cover four major activities of test design as mentioned in the ISTQB syllabus. The first activity is designing and prioritizing test cases and sets of test cases. The second activity is identifying necessary test data to support test conditions and test cases. The third activity is designing the test environment and identifying any required infrastructure and tools. And the fourth activity is capturing bidirectional traceability between the test basis test conditions, and test cases. Now let's understand each of these test activities one by one. The first main activity is designing and prioritizing test cases and sets of test cases. In the previous lecture, we saw how we derive test cases from the test condition. In the test design stage, we not only derive the test case, but we also prioritize them. And this is what you need to remember here. The first main activity is designing and prioritizing test cases and sets of test cases. The second activity is identifying necessary test data to support test conditions and test cases. Let's understand this point. During test design, we write high level test cases like this. But if you look at this carefully, you will find that we need some more information to test this feature. For example, the value of power supply. We cannot give any random voltage. When we say open the door, what shall be the value of the signal? Similarly, when we say check light on, what shall be the value of the signal? These are all called test data. In the test design stage, we just have to identify these test data. This is how a test data looks like. Test data contains input data which a test case needs. But you must be thinking why it's empty. It is empty because in the test design stage we only identify the test data as we did here. Creation of test data is done with the test implementation stage. Most of the time people go wrong here so please be very careful. Let me repeat this point again. The identification of test data is done in the test design stage, whereas creation of test data is done in the test implementation stage. Finally, you need to remember the second activity of test design is identifying necessary test data to support test conditions and test cases. The third activity is designing the test environment and identifying any required infrastructure and tools. This point is similar to the last point. In the test design stage, we identify the infrastructure required for planned testing. For example, to test this test case we need computer, battery, door, and light. Again, the important point here is that we only identify the test environment in the test design stage. Therefore, the third activity of test design is designing the test environment and identifying any required infrastructure and tools. The fourth activity is capturing bidirectional traceability between the test bases, test conditions, and test cases. Let's understand this point. In the test design stage, we get a test basis and test conditions as input, and high-level test cases are the output. So here we have to link the test condition with test cases to know which test case belongs to which test condition. And we also have to ensure the link between test conditions and test bases are correct. This is how we can provide traceability between test basis, test conditions, and test cases. So remember, the fourth main activity of test design is capturing bidirectional traceability between the test basis, test conditions, and test cases.
Now let's summarize all the important points we discussed until now. The four major activities of test design are designing and prioritizing test cases and sets of test cases, identifying necessary test data to support test conditions and test cases, designing the test environment, and identifying any required infrastructure and tools, capturing bidirectional traceability between the test bases, test conditions, and test cases.